In this equation, we have Mg plus HNO3. This is magnesium and nitric acid. And for these products to be formed, specifically this NO2 here, this has to be concentrated nitric acid. You have dilute nitric acid, you have different products. Let's count the atoms up first and then balance the equation. We have one magnesium, one hydrogen, and even though we do have a nitrate ion on both sides, because we have this other nitrogen here, let's make sure we just split everything up into individual atoms. So we have our one nitrogen, three oxygens. Product side, one magnesium, two hydrogens. Nitrogens, we have two times one, two, plus don't forget this nitrogen here. So we have three nitrogen atoms. And then oxygen, two times three is six, plus two, plus the one in the oxygen. So we have nine oxygen atoms. When I balance equations, I like to leave the oxygens until last, and then the hydrogens leave those towards the end as well. So let's balance the nitrogen. We have one here and three here. So we could put a three right here. That would give us one times three for the hydrogen, three of those, one times three for the nitrogen. So the nitrogens are balanced, and then three times three for the oxygen. Now we have nine oxygens, and it's looking pretty good, except the hydrogen isn't balanced. So we have to resolve that. Probably the best thing would be to get this hydrogen to an even number. So we have an even number of hydrogens. We could do that by changing the three to a four. So let's try that. And then we need to update all these numbers here. So now we have one times four, four hydrogen atoms, one times four, four nitrogens, three times four, 12 oxygen atoms. Now that this is an even number, if we just put a two in front of the NO2, that would change the nitrogens and the oxygens. Let's update those. So now I have two times one, two, plus one times two, two. So the nitrogens, we have four, they're balanced. Oxygens, two times three is six, plus two times the two is four, plus one, 11 oxygen atoms. Okay. At this point, why don't we balance the hydrogens and maybe that'll balance the oxygens as well. Let's see. We'll put a two in front of the water, two times two. That gives us four. Hydrogen atoms are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. So now I have two times three is six, plus two times two is four, plus one times two is two. 10 plus two gives us 12. We're done. This equation is balanced. So there's a lot going on here. So a few keys to balance this equation. One, leave the oxygens till last, probably leave the hydrogens until later in the equation. If you get an odd number, it's best if you can get that to an even number, that'll help with the balancing. And then just make sure you count everything up correctly, especially these oxygen atoms. There are quite a few of those. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Mg plus HNO3, magnesium plus concentrated nitric acid. Thanks for watching.